Let's keep this episode as simple as possible. You see the caption, it says, Kia Proctor, one of the mothers of Cam Newton's children, opens up about their past relationship and how they co-parent. Right here, I'm reading from the caption again, the yellow box below. It says, Kia explains her public breakup with Cam and why the two didn't get married after he had a child outside their relationship. I'm gonna read the caption here, in the, the Instagram crap, caption to the right. It says, Kia Proctor, the mother of five of Cam Newton's children, did a Q&A video to answer questions about herself and her prior relationship with the former NFL player. Kia touched on co-parenting, deciding not to get married after Cam had a baby with Lorena Shaw while they were in a relationship and more. If you recall, Cam has eight children and his youngest is with Jasmine Brown. In one portion of the video, Kia explained she and Cam used to celebrate their kids' birthdays together, but now they celebrate the birthdays based on their co-parenting schedule. She said, hopefully in the future that can change and we can combine the birthdays together. Okay, now let's hear the video here. And I'm not going to say anything about Kia Proctor's past until after the videos are finished. <laughs> I'll, I'll leave I'll I'll leave that as the aha moment after the end of these videos. I want you to listen to these videos with an open mind first. To focus on my career and get something going for myself. And then I ended up pregnant with Kashmir. And then that's when I went through a public breakup and I, and that was that. And then me and my um, partner, we separated. So I'm a single mom of five. Five kids later, people always ask, oh, why are you, like, what happened with your marriage? Or, like, why are you not in a relationship? And I always say I was never married. But the relationship, I thought it was going towards marriage. And then my partner at the time had an outside baby. And he kind of wanted to force it on me. And I w wasn't really ready to. Fair use, by the way, fair use, fair use. I mean, I don't really know how to describe this or talk about this. I just, he had a baby outside of our relationship that wanted to focus on my career. Let's hit the next clip. That I was not okay with. And we were not married. So I'm like, if I'm not about to deal with this because I thought this, what we had was something way more special than the way you're treating it. And I felt like I had no choice but to leave. I had to choose me and my kids over what he was about to put me through. So that I was not okay with. Dry your eyes. You made me cry. Deep down inside. I know you just feel like dying. Sorry. That's a, y'all never heard of the deal that the song, the, the band that, uh, the baby face was anyway, anyways, <laughs> now, for the people that don't know, this is this is the this is the kicker here. This is the kicker that I'm about to, to reveal to you. If anybody isn't, if you're not familiar who Kia Proctor is, this is a former stripper. Let me repeat this to you guys. This is a form she she this is a former stripper. Again, this is a former stripper. Next clip. Like they're in a great space. I try to, I mean, I don't know. I just try to make sure that they don't go without and that they're good mentally. And we have a great co-parenting schedule. Like we do good with co-parenting. I feel like, I feel like we do the best we can and we make it work. We make it, we make it work for the kids. It has definitely been a work in progress. And I feel like it should get better with time. Just give it time. I feel like everything always gets better with time. You know, as long as the parents are good in a good place, then the kids will be good. So as long as they see a healthy relationship, I feel like that's the best thing you can do. Because the co-parenting schedule, we do week on and week off. We switch every Sunday. It's like I have that week, that free week to myself where I can focus on what Kia wants to do and create all of these things for Kia. Like I started a beauty line. I started this YouTube channel. And I have like they're in a great space. I Again, this is a former stripper. Why didn't he want to marry me? Why didn't he even though he put kids in me? Whoa. How many times we got to tell people your your past, it, it does matter. Your, your your past matters. Now, for some, this is the thing. When we say like your past matters, people will just say no. But they will they will still judge. <laughs> These will be the same people or women or just people in general that will look at somebody and judge them by their past. I'm talking about if, if it comes to just 
they want their car fixed. They find out this dude w- was in jail. Then they don't want, want him to fix the car no more. <laughs> I'm t- these Your past matters. What you Where he met you at, it matters. Your past matters. I don't know why she... <laughs> Well, you know, maybe because she, she she just eventually thought, well, if I just keep if I just keep on keeping his kids, <laughs> just, <laughs> let me not go there. But she probably thought if I just kept ki- keeping his kids, then maybe eventually he'll just put the ring on my finger. I mean, if you just want to be a baby making concubine, yeah, this, <laughs> he like Cam doesn't mind multiplying. He's he's shown that by his actions. And what he said, but let's not act like Cam was tricking people. Let's not act like he was manipulating people. You was manipulating your own self. And like I said, some people, you're, you're, who you are matters. And let's not act like we don't do that to other people. That's that's the that's the kicker here too. Like people will be like, oh, no way he's judging me by past is by past, particularly women, and they will judge men by where they are, how much money they make, how tall they are. I mean, they will do all of this and then be shocked when that karma comes back or if they see it happen to their friend where they're judged by their past. If something doesn't end up going their way and it's because and, and, and or like if something doesn't go their way, it doesn't even it doesn't even enter their mind that, you know what, maybe it's because I, I, I was a stripper back in the day. Maybe it's because I used to do modeling. This is what Kia Proctor used to do. She used to be a stripper and then a self-proclaimed model right afterwards. Right? <laughs> so. Even though he did put four uh, four babies in her, because if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, when she met Cam, she already had a kid by another man. So that's a whole other thing. So she was already a single mammy when she met Cam. So th- th- that's <laughs> she was a this was a ex stripper, single mammy, and that's when she met Cam. He doesn't owe you anything. <laughs> Man, I- I'm sorry, ladies, La- ladies, you're not entitled to commitment especially when it comes to marriage you're not entitled to it just the same way men are not entitled to a woman's body all that of uh, uh sex and all that I, I i'm a staunch believer in that too but at the same time it seems like women are very entitled to a man's commitment they just feel like oh if i do this you have to give me that no nope 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 that's not how this works you see the social contract has been broken you haven't been keeping up your end of the deal you can't tell, especially men of value, when you're talking about men of high status. I, I saw a I saw something via uh uh what's it, the City Boys page. And usually I don't promote stuff like that, like Hoodville and City Boys and all that stuff. It's a lot of the stuff is actually kind of cringe when you think about it, but I did see something that was very interesting, and they had a point. The post said if you want, if you're one, they're saying if you're one of those women that think that a man that does, does, does uh, a man doesn't deserve a relationship or a marriage or whatever, if he, or sex if he's broke, you cannot tell that same man. If you're a woman that believes that, you cannot tell that same man if he gets a lot of money or if, if he's rich, you can't tell that man he can he can only have one woman. That is off the table. If you are the same person that would judge, that will say he does not deserve a relationship or he doesn't deserve to have kids and all this nonsense because he's broke. If he has a lot of money, you have no say in whether or not he he, he wants a relationship, a marriage, uh, one woman. You, you can't you can't dictate terms if he makes a lot of money. And I am a staunch believer in that as well, because <laughs> I'll be seeing these broads. They'll make these videos and, or like you see the Amani Williams. Of the world. You're, you're broke. You're average. You're peasant. You don't deserve. And you're just like, OK, then it. So I'm like, so then you expect a man that's worked his ass off because for a man to get to a position, he really has to slay dragons for real, or he has to do some dirt, like some serious dirt, right? You cannot tell that same man. You can't dictate terms once he's now start making it. No, 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 no. If he doesn't deserve it, if he's broke, if he has the means, you don't, you don't dictate terms now. You have no leverage. You have no leverage. Let's do a background check on... Mrs. Stripper Girl here. Okay. They said after parting ways, Kia and Cam signed a temporary custody agreement. This followed court battles that started in 2019 when Cam filed a lawsuit against his ex for his kid's paternity. That's fair. You know, they broken up and, you know, since everything was going to go to court and she was probably asking for child support, 
or some kind of something. He was probably, okay, before we even do this, let's make sure we get the paternity thing done as well. <clears throat> he said the quarterback asked for child support and custody to be set by the court. Ah, okay. So shortly after the paternity of his four children was determined, Kia countersued for $15,000 a month in child support. Cam allegedly refused to pay child support, so his ex-girlfriend asked the judge to find him in contempt of court. Kia said Cam had not pr produced all records in their custody case. She further stated that he failed to pay utilities for her home <laughs> as he agreed to in their temporary agreement. It remains unclear how much the model gets in child support. In 2023, the American quarterback sued his ex, demanding for the return of his Bentley Bentega. He claimed that he allowed Kia to use the Bentley while he was in a romantic relationship with her. He went on to say that she was holding on to the car and refusing to give it back after breaking up. She allegedly refused to acknowledge his ownership, hence the need for the lawsuit. Okay. <laughs> there you have it ladies and gentlemen kia proctor you got to do that you got to do the carfax you got to do the <laughs> but this is like this is a former stripper a former stripper questioning on why things didn't work out in, in the way that she wanted it to and in, in not even fathoming that it could be because of her past But he told me my past didn't matter. Well, as long as he get the punani, he's gonna tell you what 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 <laughs> what you want to hear. <laughs> it's, it's it's pretty easy. It's you know, if people be like, "But why would he put a kid in her?" Well, like I said, Cam has been open about his practices. He doesn't mind multiplying and procreating. He just hesitant on the marriage. Now, he's already hesitant on marriage in general. What would make him? go all in on a single mammy stripper. This is something, you know, for people to think about. But it, it, it obviously makes sense to me, but, you know, to the normies, you know. <laughs>